Hi everyone, and welcome back to Amanda T and Me, and welcome to a new game. We are going to be playing Sherlock Holmes Crimes and Punishment, and yes, the title is inspired by the novel by Dostoevsky. So, um, this is an older game, but it's new to me. Um, so you'll notice that the aspect ratio might be a little bit funny. Um, I tried to get it as close um, as possible. Um, it's not perfect, but I think we can overlook that and hopefully we're going to have a lot of fun playing this. Um, so yeah, get yourself something cozy. I feel like this is like an Earl Grey kind of game, um, but who knows? Um, I've also seen the contemporary Sherlock Holmes and, you know, he dabbles in all sorts of substances. So yeah, anyway. Um, Let's get into the game. Uh, you will see that it says continue. I did nose around just to make sure that the game runs okay, but otherwise I have no idea what's going on. All right. New game, please. Yes. Um, so... I won't get into it here, but I will link an article about the Ukrainian Heavenly Hundred um, in the description down below. Um, very interesting um, event uh, in history. Also, how cool! It's kind of this like introduction. It makes me think of Poirot's tiny gray cells. So. Each time you complete an observation of a person, um, and then we can check them out in the case book. So yeah, there's like, uh, there's like, I don't know, there's some, re some really cool features and I hope I get the knack of them. Oh yeah, it is Dostoevsky that he's reading. Oh God. Okay, so we can... Okay, so we only have the option to duck under the sofa. Holmes, will you stop that? Okay, so I only have... Again, I only have the choice of hiding under the table. You are utterly mad. Holmes. Is that you, Watson? Yes, of course it is. And you almost killed me. Nonsense. I was aiming for the vases. Blindfolded? Watson, quiet, please. I'm trying to concentrate. Ah, Lestrade. What is it this time? He can see me. Well, here it is, and it's a good one, Mr. Holmes. A gentleman by the name of Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, has been murdered. A sailor, most probably. What happened here? Oh, Mr. Holmes, how could you? It's the only exercise I've had all week. A grateful client from Limoges sent me a vase collection this morning. I couldn't think of a better use for it. You're out of your mind. I missed four out of ten. Given you were blindfolded, that was very good. Can I have a try? Am I the only sane one here? I suppose that Watson is right, Inspector. A little brain work would be preferable now. Do please tell us more about Black Peter. Peter Carey, born in 1845 and 50 years old. An ambitious sort, he achieved much success in seal and whale hunting around Scandinavia. Retired in 1884 with a small fortune. He invested his money in a property called Woodman's Lee, near Forest Row in Sussex. It was where he lived for six years and where he was found dead yesterday. Has the investigation already begun? Yes and no. In fact, this crime is so mysterious that I would prefer you to join me down there. Give me half an hour to prepare, Inspector. 
Take your time and join me there. I have to go through the yard first. The many men struck again. What have they done this time? They robbed a powder reserve. I'll meet you at Woodman's Lee, Mr. Holmes. I should help Mrs. Hudson here. I also have several appointments that I must keep this afternoon. I shall go alone then. Okay, so we can use tab to open our casebook and yeah. So we'll have to inspect uh, Woodman's Lee. This is also, I, I believe, our inventory. So, tasks, investigate the murder of Peter Carey, inspect the crime scene at Woodman's Lee, select a suit to wear using your personal wardrobe, and join Lestrade at Woodman's Lee. All right, so we're here, Baker Street, and down here is Woodman's Lee. Um, so this is our evidence. Okay, I wasn't sure if that'd be like an inventory. Peter Carey, also known as Black Peter, born in 1845 and so 50 years old. He achieved great success in whale hunting in Scandinavia, retired in 1884, eventually moving to Woodman's Lee. Let's see, we have documents, dialogues. Okay, so we can literally go back to everything. Um, souvenirs, echoes, and character portraits. Okay. So, let's see here. My analysis table. It is useful for my work. Okay. It's a little... clunky. I wonder how close we have to be to things. Okay. Newspapers? My archive. I can always consult with it if needed. And this is where I keep my post. All right. This is Hudson. Oh, what a mess! What a terrible mess! All right. So we actually have to be reasonably close. Here a map of London and the surrounding area. It could be useful. I will get the hang of the controls. All right, here we go. You go along to Peter Kerr's house. Mrs. Hudson and I will take care of the mess you've made here. Oh, there's his sheet music. actually never read Crime and Punishment for myself. Um, kind of a disappointment, actually. Oh, we can... Wait, is this for, like... How could we not just wear the deer stalker though? Okay, we don't we don't need glasses. Interesting. Oh god no. Yeah. And then B for the wardrobe. That doesn't seem right. Maybe the 
green suit? Oh, okay. It's fine by me. I wonder if we actually have to use any disguises at some point. down to 20. Oh, that feels way more solid. Okay, that's better. I'll do my best to kind of adapt as we go. Hmm, it'd be nice if it would have Told us a little something. Of course, Watson has a portrait of a physician. All right. All right, off to Woodman's Lee. Okay, so we can check our casebook while we're traveling. Mr. Holmes, I'm over here. Come on. Hmm. I kind of just want to look. Mr. Holmes. Okay, so no complicated dialogue options. Okay. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Okay, so that's actually like a tidbit. A capable gardener works here. Okay, so it looks open, but I can't actually go by the wheelbarrow. Hidden, and then there's an invisible barrier here. Okay. Inspector Lestrade, when will you remove my husband's body? It's sacrilegious to leave him here like this. As soon as we can, Mrs. Carey, I assure you. Allow me to introduce you to Mr. Sherlock Holmes. He's a detective. No doubt you've heard of him. I'll wait for you in front of the cabin, Mr. Holmes. My condolences, Mrs. Carey. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Um, when was the body... anything unusual? Madam. Can you tell me if you saw or heard anything unusual upon the night of the murder? At two o'clock in the morning, I heard a terrible scream. But I thought nothing of it then. He would scream all the time when he was drunk. Can you please tell me what occurred on the evening of the murder? Well, Peter got drunk in the evening. He was in such a terrible temper. Usually, whenever that happened, he'd stay all night drinking in his cabin before passing out. Where was the body found? Do you hmm. remember at what time you found your husband's body? In the morning, at around seven o'clock. I noticed the cabin door was open, but I didn't go in to take a look, for I knew my husband would not have liked it. At around ten o'clock, I dared to glance in through the door and... Oh, dear. Uh, any visitors? 
Was your husband accustomed to receiving visitors? Oh, no, I don't think so. I mean, he didn't really have many friends. We lived quite an isolated life here, after his retirement. Is there a gardener? The garden is very large and well-maintained. Do you employ someone to look after it? It is true, there is a lot of work, but my husband took care of it himself. Interesting. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so it's A and D to kind of inspect. Oh, I like that. You have indeed suffered a great loss, Mrs. Carey. Nevertheless, I believe it will be less of a burden for you soon. Yes. Life with Peter was never easy, but he was still my husband. He was different, wasn't he, when you first met him upon your return from Plymouth? Yes, Mr. Holmes. Oh, my goodness, but how do you know about that? You undertook a pilgrimage to the Cathedral of Santiago de Compostela when you were young. That much is evident from the rosary in your hand. The shortest route for the pilgrim from England to Spain is from Plymouth. I believe that you met Peter Carey as a young sailor there, and you married him soon afterwards. That is indeed what happened, Mr. Holmes. How extraordinary. Thank you, madam. Okay, I probably should have looked at the um, character profile before asking the questions, but it's kind of interesting. So that's his cabin. I don't really want to go there right away if I don't have to. Okay, it won't let me behind the cabin. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Okay. Mr. Holmes? Okay, so I can't inspect the shed, or at least not right now. So I can't walk across the crop. It seems that the garden was well maintained. Okay. It seems that the garden was well maintained. So it seems that I can't click through. These footprints appear to be quite large. Okay. Perhaps I could find a pair of boots that match them. Okay. like that. Oh. Okay. 
I don't know how long I can use this for. I don't know if he, like, gets tired. There's all sorts of gardening stuff over here, though. No goblets. Maybe we'll find the boots on the inside. Hmm. I know the low light is really hard to see, I just, um, you know, I'm going to be sure. Peter Carey's body is inside the cabin. We took care not to touch anything. Mr. Holmes? The door is locked. Wait just a moment, Mr. Holmes, and I'll open it. I locked it yesterday to ensure that no one should enter the cabin and tamper with the evidence. Ah, good thinking. Hello, hello, hello. What is it, Lestrade? It seems to me that someone has tried to force it, Mr. Holmes. Let me see. These scratches are fresh. You're right. Someone tried to force open the door. I swear these scratches were not here yesterday. Our mysterious visitor came here last night. Well, he's not the man for the job. This lock is not a difficult one. Perhaps he did not have the right tool. I just want to take a look. I don't see any orange, so... a terrible way to die. So let's just examine what we can see first. Someone drank from this glass recently. Someone drank from this glass recently. Is this a letter? No, it's a tobacco pouch. This aroma is familiar, but to recognize it, I must construct my associations in one picture. It kind of looks like a ship. Oh, that's so cool. So, in a ship, tobacco.
I've never really done a puzzle like this before. This is a coarse tobacco, quite strong and very popular among sailors. The initials PC have been crudely burned. A sailor's work. Oh, we got clues. Rum, a sailor's drink. It seems that Captain Carey was enjoying a drink before he met his death. Okay. The weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. Another harpooner? The weapon. No, that's not what I want. Okay. JHN are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. Oh. These abbreviations mean something, but what? Maybe money owed or some kind of account? This wooden handle is plain and solid. This wooden hand. Um. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. Okay. This man is in his fifties. Yet he still looks quite strong. Okay. Just kind of want to give like an overall. The Sea Unicorn. She was the ship that Peter Carey commanded. There we go. Peter Carey's boots may look to be a size eight. Old navigation instruments, nothing interesting. Harpoons for hunting whales. Hmm. The ship's logs of the Sea Unicorn for the years 1878 to 1884. Peter Carey was her captain. Mm. The tooth of a sperm whale, probably from one of Peter Carey's catches.
Hammerfest. Dundee, it's a whaling map. Okay, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop this here um, because we've already, there's been a lot of information already. Um, so I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna stop it here. I'm gonna pick up exactly where we have left off um, next time. And what we'll do next time is we'll actually use like our Sherlock vision um, to reevaluate this room once we're done. All right. All right, guys. Well, this is a wildly different game than we have played so far, and I'm having a great time. I don't know why I'm suddenly on a detective kick, but I, you know, what can I say? So, all right, guys, let me know what you think of the series so far down below. And as always, take care and happy sipping.